cooking up, kid. K cooking up, kid. What is up, y'all, man? It is your boy, Key, and we back! New video, man. Today, we got some Jimmy High Roller, man. Jimmy, Jimmy, you not always there when we call, but you always on time. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I didn't have no video to watch today. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I was looking around, trying to find something, uh, and Jimmy dropped. You know what I'm saying? So, we got Jimmy today. Now, look, this video is about uh, Jokic. It's um, when you're the best player in the NBA and nobody cares. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Before we get right to the video, it's not that we don't care. Let's be real. We know Jokic is cold. We know Giannis is cold. We know Kevin. Do it's just it's so many other things going on right now in the NBA that we can't sit here and give Jokic his flowers. And on top of that, this guy and his team, they're terrible right now. They're they're. MPJ's gone. Murray's gone. They don't have their team. They're they're ninth and they're under the Timberwolves right now. So would you rather talk about Jokic playing well and they're losing, or would you rather talk about um um uh, I'm not Anthony Davis. Ant Man. Ant Man. Would you rather talk about Ant Man? Um, what the frick is the the dude name? I forgot his name. Anyway, or would you rather talk about Ant-Man? You know what I'm saying? And and the Timberwolves being number seven right now. He's leading that team. Or Curry, or the Suns, or the fact that Kevin Durant is shooting 50, almost 50% 50 where he was, or how Paul George is going crazy. Meanwhile, Jokic is still being Jokic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's really hard to to do these, to, to, to put light on what he's doing when it's a lot more going on in the NBA right now. I'm just saying, some of those things may be a little far fetched, but it's so much going on that I, it's not, and it's not his fault. Let's just be real; it's not his fault. But anyway, let's get into this video. Ten to fifteen likes, y'all probably gonna get more, but we're gonna do ten to fifteen. So let's get into it. Let's go. All right, let's go. Make sure y'all blow this junk up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get Jimmy to, to notice me on Instagram. So you know what I'm saying? Better yet, go follow me on Instagram. Key reacts YT. Go follow me. What you waiting on? Anyway. Let's go. Anthony Edwards. Also, I, it was Anthony Edwards. I don't know why I couldn't get that out in the intro, but Anthony Edwards. Let's go. MVP. This isn't Everyone Jokic's has fault at all. Excellence, dominance, competitiveness, and the spirit of winning. The NBA's most valuable. This whole this this the reason why he's not getting noticed is not his fault at all. And I hope Jimmy touches on that. Thousands of players to yeah, see, y'all see when you see your boy rocking the little style right there. Eh. Yes, indeed. Y'all might see that more often with the little the joint, yeah. When assessing the league's most valuable player. Okay. Some would say it's leading your team to victory night in and night out. Mm -hmm. Others may say it's displaying your dominance through sheer numbers. Mm -hmm. Points, rebounds, assists, that type of thing. In which you that's what that a player's value That's what okay. comes in the form of his mere presence. He you see how he just broke three different things, three different types of ways to get a MVP? Tough. Intangibles that don't show up in the numbers. Yeah. But however you look at it, one thing is certain. Nikola Jokic has been the most valuable NBA player so far this season. And the gap between him and the next guy isn't even close. I mean, uh... Curry has been mighty valuable, bro. If we keep it a bean, you take Curry off. I don't know. That's interesting. We take Curry off the Warriors right now. What they doing? What y'all think? Interesting. Same thing for Jokic. You take Jokic off the Nuggets, he ain't getting nothing. They, 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 the Nuggets are terrible, and they terrible now. They're number, they're the number, they're the ninth seed. Raycon, hit me up. So I, I would love to put y'all on the channel. So I get that little bread. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up. But uh, y'all ain't giving me no headphones. Forget about my screen. Respectfully, respectfully. That was Jimmy right there. That's live. That's Jimmy shooting the ball. Nearing the end of his days with the Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan had reached legendary status on the court. Mm -hmm. He was widely recognized as not only the best player in the league, Indeed. but as the greatest player of all time. Indeed. Man wasn't even done yet. That's he known. Known court, fact. Averaging nearly 30 points per game on ridiculous efficiency. He made That's so tough. Palm the ball like that. 69 wins. 
easily the best record in the NBA that season. Yeah. With weeks left in the season, the MVP award was all but his. Congratulations for enormous... If y'all didn't know, we don't condone this guy. Yeah. At all. At all. We heard his accusations. Eh, I don't know. A little shaky. Shaky. Congratulations, Carl Malone. And just to think that this is the guy who is the leader in points, right? He's the leader in points. That's wild. People got to catch him. That's his wife? At least he thought the MVP award was his. But instead, the award went to Carl Malone, a decision that to this day, Michael Jordan can't believe actually happened. Everyone in the league knew Michael was the best and most valuable player. Yeah. It was obvious. So how could even the greatest player to ever play the game get robbed out of an award that was rightfully his? Hayden. Well, they was hating. Reasons. One being voter fatigue. Hatred. Same same. That's pretty much hating. We tired of the same person winning. So we're going to do what we can to not let him win. Hayden. They hating. Hayden. After year. 1980. Look at that. Look at that. Look. Ah. To justify rewarding anyone other ah. than the guy who was always come on, man. Which What's that? Fold and thanks. Narratives. More often than not, storylines, whether accurate or not, manifest themselves in the minds of voters and fans throughout the season. And these storylines. Suns players out. say Russell Westbrook was chasing stats during the Thunder's. He was. We all know he was. He chased stats the whole time. That's how you get a triple double. You chase stats. Some people get it regular. Some people don't. He was chasing. <laughs> oh, mommy, he was chasing. All of us. Even in the case of Michael Jordan. But Mike isn't the only player to get robbed out of an Of NBA course not. Kobe and got one stole Bush from him. An average 50 points and nearly 26 rebounds a game. Mm. The third best record in the NBA. And he didn't win the regular season MVP. What? He did it? Literally, he averaged everything is better. For Wilt, everything. Except for like probably win shares. The Celtics were crazy at the time. Wow. And he was younger. Wow. In 2006, Kobe Bryant put together one of the greatest. Yep, Stevie Nash went, took that, John. Featuring his That's the only reason why Steve Nash is, better, is regarded better than Chris Paul. That's the only reason. These freaking MVPs. And he finished. Wait, how much he averaged? Ah, 35. Look, I, didn't, I, I knew he got snubbed, but I didn't know how much he averaged. And I didn't know when. I knew Steve Nash took it, but I didn't know when. And Steve Nash was older, too. Dang. Nash didn't even. Nash averaged. Hell, I would have rather LeBron get it than Nash. Look at Dirt. Look but at Dirt. In Kobe's case, he suffered from what many other MVP Hater Ray. They was hating. After him. They was hating. From a not so great record. See, in the 2006 season, the Lakers finished as the seventh seed in the West. Oh, no and, and that's the problem with Jokic's team. NBA, that's why he's not getting no respect. Rule that if a player has hopes of winning the MVP, his team must be one of the winningest teams in the league. The yeah, because it, it further shows his dominance. I think that's why they do it. That's why it makes sense to me. No worse than the third seed in their given conference. Throughout the history of the modern NBA, only four MVP winners finished the season with a team seeded. Jimmy, how do you make all this stuff? And only one player. How does he make all this, y'all? Season MVP with a team seed lower than third. That this feel. I feel like this is like Westbrook a big school project for him. Project for him. In that season, Westbrook was a. Oh, Westbrook. Okay, I believe it or not, I I understood what was going on. Westbrook was the only person to win it, being a lower seed than top three. So, but we all know how. In fact, Straight so triple doubles. He had a triple double almost every game. To the rule. He the averaged triple double, bro. Over 50 years to average a triple double for an entire season. <sighs> a feat that 82 games, a triple double. And a feat so incredible that although his or at least every game he played a triple double. Going into the playoffs, he won the regular season MVP. Wow. In the very next season, Russ averaged a triple double again, and yet somehow he finished fifth in the MVP race. The inconsistency well, okay, well, we, we, the reason for that is, I mean, yeah, you did it once, you can do it again. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I think James Harden had a better season anyway. I kind of want to see, I kind of want to see what his numbers was. Go back, hurry up, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. He averaged 30, 30 and 8. Mm. 
I mean, the average more points. The voting process was put on full display. I guess that was another situation of voter fatigue. I guess. Team success. I guess. Number so ridiculous that the league has no choice but to anoint him as the most valuable player. Yeah. Well, according to Russ's 2017 season. Yes. And if we're following this same criteria, Nikola Jokic has easily been the league's most valuable player this season. Yeah, but it does it say it doesn't say much because he's ninth seed. Sorry, I feel bad for him though. It's not his fault. Anyone has mentioned Nikola Jokic being the most valuable player in the league this season? Hey! Numbers across the board point to the Joker as the league's most valuable player. If we're going by numbers, my boy got it. I know he got it. Just the best among his peers. Jokic I'm still taking. Player. I don't know the way Curry playing. It's hard for me not to take Curry, Jimmy. I'm sorry, bro, but this dude right here, he don't get off the ground, but he's one of the best players in the league. That's sick to me. Best individual. I wonder how he would play if he was six foot. Time. Think about that. If he was Chris Paul height, how would he be? Stats. An overall statistic of a player's efficiency and production on the court relative to the rest of the league. Mm -hmm. Here's a chart of the top 50 NBA players in terms of PER. Here's Kevin Durant, here's Stephen Curry, here's Giannis, here's Jimmy Butler, and here... And that pretty much sums up the MVP Jokic. race right there. And if this spot looks almost unreasonably high, that's because it is. Nikola's PER this season is 35.3. The ah. current single season PER record is 31.9 set by Giannis two seasons ago. He's on a whole nother level. was Wilt Chamberlain's PER of 31.8 back in 1962. In fact, here's the highest single season PER Michael Jordan ever achieved. Here's Dang. LeBron's single season record. Here's Kobe's, Magic's, Bird's, Shaq's, Kareem's. <laughs> Ooh, okay, let me ask you this. One question before I stop pausing. Where, what do you, once this all said and done, where is Jokic going to be at? As far as being one of the best centers, where is he going to be? Where's he gonna be? Cause he didn't beat out a lot of people in PER already. Efficiency that Jokic is putting together this season. Yeah. And if we narrow down the production to just offense, Jokic is still head and shoulders above everyone else. This season, Jokic has an offensive box plus minus of 10.1. Wow. Second highest offensive box plus minus in NBA history, trailing only Steph's 2015-2016 season of 10.4. Oh, bro. The next closest player. This he season make it hard. He make it hard, bro. He make it hard to say why the frick is he not number one. Players league wide have an OBPM of even five. Everyone on this list will either be an All Star this season or a borderline All Star. And even these All NBA talents aren't even in the same stratosphere as the Joker. So he's having one of the greatest individual seasons ever. Why is no one numbers wise? Numbers wise. Numbers as far as PR, offensive block, bo uh, box plus minus. Nearly 60, 40, 80 I wonder what it is on defense. No one is talking about it. Right now, the current and he's averaging that, and they're losing. You know what I'm saying? Followed by Kevin Durant and then Giannis. Him and Giannis fluctuate, though. Look at that. Him and Giannis gonna fluctuate for the rest of the season, unless they start winning. I don't know. Is Giannis in winning? Like he's some sort of afterthought. And if I had to say why this is, I'd say it comes down to a few things. First, Come on, Jimmy, talk to me. He hasn't had a marquee performance this season. No. You know, that massive game that makes all the headlines and demands fans and voters to reconsider That's, their Oh my MVP gosh, D. What the freak he's shooting at? Every MVP wow. needs a marquee performance to really draw the masses and build their campaign. I guess 26, 13, and 10 is regular. I'm sure he's done that. <laughs> they want him to get 50. With a below 500 record of 9 and 10, the Nuggets currently hold the 10th seed in the West. The Nuggets are terrible right now. But it's not his fault, though. People injured and everything. Because if a player is truly valuable, shouldn't his team be winning the vast majority of their games? The short answer is yes. Yes! And that's the reason why. That is the main reason. Now, yes. Put in the fact is that other guys are shining so much more, much so much more electrifying. Um, the media is shining light on it, but this guy is just this regular. He's not a regular player. He's just boring. He's not the best. You know what I'm saying? Most athletic. You know what I'm saying? He's smoking boots, but they're losing. You know what I'm saying? Luca would do this, be doing the same thing. Luca's the same way. Don't do nothing great. Just know how to play the game of basketball, bro. Surrounded by competent teammates. And so far this season, in the 14 people will sleep on his team too if they were losing. The Nuggets have outscored their opponents by a combined 48 points. In the five games that Jokic has missed this season, the Nuggets have been outscored by their opponents by 62 points. 
That means that with Jokic, they're bad. <laughs> they're bad. They're bad. It's not. It's, they're bad. I wouldn't be surprised they don't make the playoffs. I'm sorry. I know it's a long time from now, but sure. The Nuggets have a losing record at the moment, and they're far from a championship contending team. But without really far, so far, hell no. Jokic, they are downright atrocious. Recently, I asked a friend Garbage. tend to downplay or downright ignore Nikola's excellence, and his answer was simple, but unfortunately, very true. His game is just boring. To the purest of basketball fans, the joke Facts! is a work of art. <laughs> he does he everything good, but nothing exceptionally well. He can shoot, he can pass, he can dunk it a little bit, but he does nothing exceptionally well he doesn't have any high flying abilities no three ball ability. one thing that we could say he's really great at is his passing for a center he's really good at that but that's still boring to the to the to the to the eye of basketball right now which is the youth which they per they focus on deep threes and dunks so but to any basketball fan bro's a really great good player great player i personally love watching honestly that play, and i'd even go as far as saying he's one of a kind Max! Nobody thinks he. 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 He be throwing it. Oh, he be throwing that motherfucker all around. Other stars put on full display. No center got on the string like that. His excellence is rooted in his ability to break down the game to its simplest components and exploit the other team with his uncanny ability to see two, three, four moves ahead. IQ. It's this very IQ that deters fans from giving him the credit that he is due. Tim Duncan dealt with a similar problem. This is this is a perfect comparison, bro. Any body, any NBA superstar played in this era or in in this era right now or played in Timmy D's era. When they ask the best power forward ever, Tim Duncan. They they will forever say Tim Duncan. If you play against him, I already know it was annoying. Timmy was so technically sound that he didn't need to be fancy. He didn't need a 40 Max. vert or any sort of alien-like ability. He could dominate anyone with a handful of post moves, bank shots, and all-time rolls. He, time he can basket. score 40 and you won't know he has 40. That is a scary human being. That's the same kind of person that will kill you and not will kill somebody and won't say a word. The man's nickname was literally the big fundamental. He doesn't seem happy. This, he don't seem sad. Years Nothing. Years and years for people to truly see the immense value in Duncan. Love Timmy D, man. Love it. Perfect. 35 points and 15 assists without even getting a foot off the ground in the process. And that's and tough. To be moving in slow motion and that's and tough. Still make your best look at that. Look absolutely lost. Only 6'11". A dozen shots on the defensive end without even getting close to blocking one of them. And you'll more than likely never see one of these plays on Sports Center or your favorite sports social media outlet. But when the vast That's so tough. Y'all seen that move? He big bodied him. Uh, pump fake is really gonna be able to jump and everything. Pump fake oh jump. Lay right over the top of his dome. Come on, bro. Yoga just cold. Fans get their information and form their opinions based on these short clips and highlights. It's no wonder that Nicola's impact, relevance, and dominance are undervalued. Yes. If you were able to somehow remove the hype and narratives from the MVP discussion, the race for the award would look something like this. And that's because the Yo, good job, number one. If you erase all the voting and the numbers, like he said, facts. Is exactly that. Basketball references MVP tracker, which gives I feel bad for bro. Into the I MVP do. Race at the moment, based solely on the numbers. The only list where you'll find Jokic ahead of everyone else. But if the numbers you've seen so far haven't swayed you enough, Jokic's excellence doesn't stop at the offensive end. With a defensive box plus minus of five this season, Jokic is leading the entire NBA on the defensive end by a massive margin. The next closest player is Draymond Green with a DBPM of 3.9 and then Giannis with 3.4. And believe it or not, Nicola's defensive box plus minus. Jimmy, you keep dropping it. Well, I'm gonna talk. Jimmy keep dropping these gems like this at the end of the video. I didn't think that at all. This season is the second highest mark ever. Wow. I'm not exaggerating when I say that Nikola Jokic is currently having arguably the most productive, efficient, and dominant season in NBA history. Now, how's that for value? Well, that's the way to end the video right there, baby. That's the way to end the video. Yeah, I like that. I was fire. Look, though, we ain't going by numbers, Jokic.
So you better get some wins, brother. You get some wins, get into the playoffs, at least go to the second round, and you'll get your you'll get your MVP again, sir. Let's just be real. Let's just be real. Jokic, his numbers are far greater than anybody else's on MVP voting. You know what I'm saying? As we can see. I ain't just saying this. As we can see. So, therefore, bro deserves it, but he don't deserve it because they're not winning. So, at the end of the day, we know what it is. I feel bad for my guy, for, for the guy. Um, he's not one of my favorite players, but definitely a player that I respect in the league because he's really good. It's your boy, Key. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, and I love you, man. Yes, and if you like the video, 10 to 15. Hell, if y'all want to do 10 to 100, we good. Uh, it's your boy, and I'm out, man. Ah!